Today we're diving deep into the mysterious and enigmatic Monkey D Dragon and his rumored devil fruit power. Have you heard about his mystical ability to control the wind and atmosphere? We'll explore how his combat style impacts the story and uncover the secrets behind his strength. Our speculation on Dragon's ability is based on theories like the Wind Wind Fruit or the Weather Weather Fruit, which involve manipulating wind and atmosphere. We'll analyze how these abilities could affect his fighting style and their overall impact on the story. If you have different stories about the elusive dragon, please share them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started! In this session, we're talking about the ability of Monkey D. Dragon, commander of the Revolutionary Army, who is currently confronting the Holy Knights. Dragon hasn't appeared much, and we haven't seen him in combat. But just how powerful is he? We'll discuss this based on what has been revealed so far. First off, Dragon is Garp's son and Luffy's father, hailing from a genetically superior lineage. This certainly sets him up as a top-tier character in the Revolutionary Army. Recall Garp's reaction to Luffy, unconsciously using Conqueror's hockey during the Summit War, hinting at an innate power. Ivankov's comment, blood cannot be denied, suggests that Dragon likely possesses Conqueror's hockey as well. Dragon is very well known in the public eye in a bad way, and even some of the most famous and powerful people were surprised when it was revealed that Luffy was Dragon's son. Despite his lack of combat scenes, Dragon is infamously known, which speaks volumes about his strength. His recognition by both the general populace and powerful individuals further proves his might. Such a powerful figure likely possesses a formidable devil fruit power. While not officially confirmed as a devil fruit user, various hints suggest possible abilities. Some speculate the wind wind fruit for controlling wind, the weather weather fruit for manipulating the atmosphere, the human human fruit model Vayu, or the bird bird fruit mythical Zoan model Thunderbird. We'll get into more details, but these are some of the widely discussed abilities associated with Dragon. First up, let's talk about the wind wind fruit. Remember Dragon's first appearance? He saved Luffy from Smoker in Logetown. Back then, we didn't know he was Luffy's dad. Logetown was hit by a huge storm, allowing Luffy and crew to escape the Navy. Dragon's line, why hinder a man's departure, was pretty cool, right? Luffy's known for his luck, so surviving a maelstrom isn't out of character. But convenient storms and gusts helping Luffy could be more than just natural phenomena. If we think of it as Dragon's doing, it makes sense. At the time, we didn't know about Dragon and Luffy's connection, so it seemed like mere luck. Now, knowing Dragon is Luffy's father, it's more natural to think he used his power to help Luffy escape. Many convenient escapes for Luffy and Smoker's comment, it's like the heavens themselves keep that man alive, hint at Dragon's power. These phenomena could be explained by Dragon's abilities. During his talk with Ivankov about homing instincts, he starts with, When you are carried by the wind. And while discussing the Straw Hat's total bounty with a soldier, he says, I'll go catch some wind. All this indicates that wind is a recurring theme for Dragon, suggesting he could be a wind ability user. Also, when Grey Terminal was burning, Dragon's arrival coincided with a gust strong enough to blow away the flames which seems more than coincidence. Similar occurrences elsewhere could be Dragon's doing. Think of Dragon as embodying the wind. He could propel ships as a tailwind or land on islands as the wind. This explains Dragon's elusive nature, like when he saved Luffy and Sabo. If he can become wind, he might be a Logia type. So if we assume Dragon wields a wind wind fruit, how could he fight? Like in Logetown, he might create gusts to blow enemies away, or like Kaido, use wind slashes. His attacks would be powerful, and moving like the wind would make it hard for enemies to hit him. If he's a Logia, then only a few can actually fight him. Considering Sabo, a top revolutionary, fought Admiral Fujitora to a standstill, Dragon likely surpasses an admiral in power. Can't wait to see Dragon in action, right? Next. 
let's consider the theory of an atmosphere manipulating devil fruit. Atmosphere control means a larger scale than just wind. The atmosphere, the layer of gases surrounding Earth, is involved in most weather phenomena. It's not just about wind. It means controlling all aspects of weather. Remember the scene in Logetown where Luffy was about to be executed by Buggy? Luffy was in dire straits, but a lightning strike saved him at the perfect moment, hitting Buggy. Such a miraculous, well-timed strike seems more like an ability than coincidence. But since there's already a lightning power user, it suggests a broader control over the atmosphere. The reasoning for creating wind is the same as with the wind-wind fruit. Considering Dragon's actions like causing wind and rain to disable the Navy's gunpowder, he seems like an atmosphere human, freely manipulating all weather. Being able to control all weather aspects would be like an upgraded version of the wind-wind fruit. However, manipulating atmospheric pressure would classify it as a paramecia type, not zoan. But given the scale of the power as atmosphere, it might be similar in magnitude to the press-press fruit. It's not surprising for a world-class criminal and commander of the Revolutionary Army to have such large-scale abilities. Nami sensed changes in the air and pressure in Logetown, which could be seen as evidence of Dragon's ability. Dragon, being related to Garp and Luffy, likely has superior hockey and basic combat skills. In battles, his fighting style might rely more on martial arts, with his ability being a secondary asset. If we're naming an atmosphere-controlling power, what would it be? With a member of the Revolutionary Army controlling Soot as a Soot-Soot fruit user, it could follow a similar pattern, maybe the Kiki-Kiki fruit or the Kia-Kia fruit. Like the Cook-Cook fruit seems English-derived, we might guess something like the Weather-Weather fruit. But let's not get our hopes too high for the naming. Devil fruit names can be a hit or miss. Still, controlling the atmosphere ties into Earth, making it a fitting power for Father of Luffy, a sun godlike figure. Sun and atmosphere working together would seem like a great combination. Now let's talk about the possibility of Dragon having a mythical Zoan-type human-human fruit. This would be similar to Luffy and Chopper. Are you aware of the SBS question about what happens if a human eats the human-human fruit? The answer was that it makes one become a person. This phrase could imply a god taking human form in this world, which was a hint about Luffy being a sun god Nika after consuming the model Nika of the human-human fruit. This was revealed in the SBS of Volume 20, suggesting the existence of a god named Devil Fruit as early as the Alabasta arc. A 20-year-long foreshadowing by Oda is indeed impressive. But what does his SBS have to do with Dragon's powers? Well, Dragon might have consumed a godlike devil fruit, possibly modeled after Vayu, the wind god in Indian mythology. If this theory is correct, that SBS applies not only to Luffy, but also to Dragon. One Piece often pays homage to various myths, and recently, mythical Zoan types have been prominent. It wouldn't be surprising if Dragon had consumed such a fruit. Having a family of godlike ability users would be quite remarkable. One Piece is known for hiding foreshadows in SBS and cover stories, making it worthwhile to scrutinize every detail. There's another point often discussed. Vayu's son in Indian mythology is Hanuman. Hanuman is also a monkey god, which links to the monkey in Luffy and his family's names. Not just the name, but Hanuman and Luffy share several similarities, leading to speculation that Luffy might be modeled after him. Firstly, their appearance. Hanuman is depicted wearing red clothes and blue pants, much like Luffy. Also, Hanuman has a scar on his chest, and Luffy got one on his chest during the Summit War from Ikanu's attack, which remains even now. Furthermore, Hanuman is believed to have five faces. Can you think of Luffy's five faces? The first is his normal state, and the second appeared in Eni's Lobby, Gear 2. Gear 2, unique to Luffy's rubber abilities, involves pumping blood at high speeds, similar to doping. It's a risky technique that produces steam and is said to shorten his lifespan. Gear 3 involves inflating his hands or feet with air, giving him destructive power comparable to giants. Initially, it had a downside. Luffy would shrink after using it. Next up is Gear 4, 
which combines armament hockey with Luffy's rubber abilities, resulting in the balance focused Bound Man. There's also Tank Man, which absorbs attacks, and Snake Man, specialized in speed. These gears have enabled Luffy to stand against formidable opponents like Doflamingo, Cracker, and Katakuri. It was impressive to see him overwhelm the commanders of the four emperors. The fifth face, Gear 5, is a result of the Gum Gum Fruit's awakening, granting extraordinary strength and freedom, arguably the most playful power in the world. In this way, Luffy and Hanuman both seem to have five faces. Luffy mentioned that Gear 5 is his peak, so it's unlikely we'll see anything beyond that. Besides the physical resemblance, Hanuman can also change his size at will, much like the freedom of combat offered by Gear 5. This explains the endlessly stretching arms of Snake Man. Moreover, Hanuman is under the protection of Agni, the god of fire. Luffy has been aided by his sworn brothers Ace and Sabo, both of whom wield the flame-based Flame Flame Fruit. Given Oda's penchant for drawing inspiration from mythology for ancient weapons, the idea that Luffy's model is Hanuman seems plausible. Assuming Luffy is modeled after Hanuman, his father Dragon being modeled after Vayu, the wind deity is highly likely. This aligns with Dragon possibly handling wind abilities. Also, it's said that Zoan type devil fruits have their own wills. Dragon having the human human fruit, model Vayu, could mean that Luffy was chosen by the human human fruit. In other words, the will of the devil fruit may have led it to Luffy. Finally, let's delve into the bird bird fruit. In Alabasta, it was mentioned that only five types of flying ability users had been confirmed. Honestly, the number of flyers has been increasing, and if we include all suspicious characters, we already have five. First, there's Marco of the former Whitebeard Pirates with the Bird Bird Fruit, mythical Zoan model Phoenix. Second, we have Pell from Alabasta with the model Falcon. Morgans of the World Economic Journal is modeled after an albatross. However, from Stussy's remarks, we know it's a non-flying bird, which wouldn't count as one of the five. Pell mentioned he's not the bird bird fruit, but spoke of flying abilities, so non-flying birds don't count as one type. Third, there's the King of the Beast Pirates with the Dragon Dragon Fruit, model Pteranodon. Fourth, a bit iffy, is stronger of the Blackbeard Pirates, who can fly and is a Pegasus ability user. Lastly, Lafitte is rumored to be a flyer, though not confirmed yet. There's also a bird-like silhouette among the five elders. With more than five types, it seems unlikely that Dragon has the bird bird fruit. Pell said, only five types have been confirmed in the world. This could imply there are unconfirmed types. It might be a mislead by Oda, but that would render Pell's statement meaningless, making it less likely. Regarding the five elders, they might be consuming an unpublished devil fruit, so the possibility of a mislead isn't zero. Returning to the abilities, the Thunderbird, like Marco's ability, doesn't exist in reality. It's a legendary creature from Native American folklore, believed to control thunder and wind, fitting for the lightning at Logetown and the gusts that blew away the Marines. This gives a foundation to the Thunderbird theory, lacking in other speculated abilities. Regarding Dragon's appearance, what stands out is his facial tattoo. Neither Garp nor Luffy, his family members, have it. It's customary among some Native Americans to have facial tattoos. Since the Thunderbird is a spirit from Native American lore, Dragon's tattoo could be derived from there. When he was with Vegapunk, Dragon didn't have the tattoo. Its mystery fuels various theories. Some speculate that Dragon, the man with the flame scar, is hiding a burn. Important characters like Zoro, Shanks, and Pedro all have scars on their left eyes. This could mean Dragon's tattoo has significant meaning, but only Oda knows the truth. His subtle depictions make us think deeply, typical of his style. When the truth is revealed, we often find that the foreshadowing was hidden in plain sight, leading to more speculations. Considering the tattoo, the Thunderbird theory gains more credibility. So what do you think about Dragon's abilities? In this discussion, we've explored four potential abilities and it seems highly likely that wind and possibly thunder are involved. Each theory has its own basis and could very well be plausible. As of the Egghead arc, the Revolutionary Army has been making significant moves, 
like declaring war by destroying the symbol of the celestial dragons. They've successfully retrieved their comrade, Bartholomew Kuma, though Kuma later returned to Mary Diawaz and then flew off somewhere else due to programming. Their successful destruction of the food storehouse and other operations are progressing smoothly. Given these events, it's highly probable that formidable enemies like the Holy Knights will soon confront the Revolutionary Army. Being an organization directly opposing the world government, the Revolutionary Army is stirring up the world, hinting at major developments ahead. With powerful executives like Sabo and Ivankov, and the revealed strength of various army commanders, it seems we're close to luring more about Dragon's abilities. If they face off against the Holy Knights, Dragon might end up battling St. Figurland Garling, known as the King of God Valley. This might also shed light on the relationship with the Figurland family, including Shanks. The Revolutionary Army versus the Holy Knights, it's something to look forward to. What are your thoughts on these theories? This channel posts summaries, explanations, and ranking videos related to One Piece. If you like One Piece, we would be happy if you could support us by subscribing to our channel and commenting. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next video.